So today we are going to be learning about Amazon Brand Analytics. Amazon Brand Analytics gives you data which is like no other data that Amazon gives you otherwise. Here the data can help you make strategic decisions for your marketing and for your products as well. I think it's a very powerful tool and I'm so excited to talk about it. everyone, I'm Ria Mittal and welcome back to another video in our ongoing series why Amazon brand registry is so important for your brand on Amazon. So first we understood what Amazon storefront is and how you can create your Amazon storefront. Then we moved on to how you can create your first A plus content on Amazon and now we're going to understand what brand analytics is. It is another powerful tool by Amazon that is going to help you build your brand on Amazon and it's going to take your Amazon game to the next level. So let's take a look. So today we are going to be learning about Amazon Brand Analytics. Amazon Brand Analytics gives you data which is like no other data that Amazon gives you otherwise. Here the data can help you make strategic decisions for your marketing and for your products as well. I think it's a very powerful tool and I'm so excited to talk about it. So first we're going to be talking about what Amazon Brand Analytics is, where you can find it, benefits of Amazon Brand Analytics and of course the reports that Amazon Brand Analytics offers you. We're also going to be looking at some reports um, towards the end of the video, so make sure you tune in. Also, this whole video is timestamped, so feel free to go through the video chapter-wise. So you can finish a chapter, go get a cup of coffee, and move on to the second chapter. And if you like this video, do not forget to give us a like and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So first, we're going to understand what is Amazon's brand analytics. So Amazon Brand Analytics is one of the most powerful tools that you brand owners can have out there to make informed decisions about your brand and marketing on Amazon. And as you already know, Amazon is so proud of that making your brand visible is really important. And this is where brand building comes into picture. So first, we're going to talk about what data points is available in brand analytics that you will not find anywhere. So let's take a look into that. So first is keyword and search terms that the customers most search for. Second is competitor insights. Third is customer shopping behavior insights. Then comes the most clicked ASINs for a particular keyword. And lastly, the estimated figures of total clicks and conversions for each of these keywords. And for the cherry on top, it will let you know which of your keywords are converting very well for you and you can add those to your PPC campaigns. Adding on to that, you can also identify one of your top competitors and the keywords for ASIN so you can obviously run product targeting ads and that's going to be super fun. So if you're already brand registered or if you just registered your brand on Amazon and are wondering where you can find Amazon Brand Analytics, let me show you where you can find it. Just sign into your Seller Central account and navigate to the Reports tab. Here you select the Brand Analytics from the drop down menu. There you go. It's that easy. So now let's talk about the eligibility criteria for you to access this powerful tool on Amazon. So in order for you to access it, you have to fulfill two criteria. First being that you have to be brand registered on Amazon and second being that you're a seller on Amazon. So I'm sure most of you watching out there are already eligible for brand analytics. And if you're already brand registered, uh, brand analytics is already available for you. They do not exclude you from that. So if you followed our previous steps and are not able to find brand analytics um, under the drop down menu, that means you do not meet the eligibility criteria by Amazon. That means you are not brand registered yet or are in progress or process of getting brand registered. So give it some time and Amazon will definitely have that for you. Now let's talk about why you should be using Amazon's brand analytics and the benefits that come with it. After this, we will be moving on to reports, but it's really important for us to understand what Amazon brand analytics actually offers you. The first and the biggest benefit that Amazon brand analytics lets you have is that you have access to all this valuable information completely free of cost. So Amazon brand analytics will not cost you anything if you are a brand registered seller. The next benefit is that by using this tool, you will get potential keywords as well as ASINs for your PPC campaigns. You have access to information like top search terms, best selling ASINs so that you get ideas for good keywords for your listing optimization. And you can also run product targeting campaigns for the ASINs you've identified. Moving on, it will also help you developing the right marketing strategies. 
This tool grants you to access competitor data like click-through rates, conversion rates and so you can analyze why a particular product is at top or why a particular product is not performing as expected. You can use this data to strengthen your strategies. The fourth benefit is that you have an understanding of the consumer behavior. Features like basket analysis, item comparison, and alternate purchase behavior will let you know what products your customers are interested in and what products they buy alongside with your products and what other products a potential customer might be viewing alongside with your product. With this information, you can develop potential product ideas and expand your portfolio or think about product bundles that will make your products stand out from the crowd. Finally, the tool is very user-friendly. You don't need to be an expert in data analytics to understand all the data that tools provides you. Also, it's easy to navigate and each feature within this tool is really user-friendly. So now we are going to look at some of the reports that are available for you in Brand Analytics and I am not going to be explaining each report in depth, but we have a PDF with all the data that you need, with all the information that you need in the description box below. So where we have explained each report in depth. So please go to the description box below and download the PDF to understand these reports in depth. But I'm just going to mention what reports are available in Amazon Brand Analytics. So let's take a look at that. So first comes Amazon Search Term Report. This report consists the top converting search terms by your customers and it also shows you top three ASINs uh, that are also linked to that search term. Then comes the product titles, click share, conversion rates to the brand owner. So next is market basket report. So this report shows you what other products are being purchased alongside your product. So you can create bundles accordingly. So let's move on. So next is alternate purchase behavior report. This is one of my favorite reports that comes in Amazon Brand Analytics. So this report shows you when a customer viewed your product and did not buy your product, which product did they end up purchasing after viewing your product? So this is about the alternate behavior of the customer. So what they were planning to buy and what did they purchase instead? So this will help you identify your competitors and their ASINs. And I think it's really friendly to understand what is working for your competitor and what is not working for your competitor and how you can improve your product on Amazon. If you want to understand more about these reports and want to understand how each of these reports benefit you, scroll down in the description and you will have a PDF to download. And believe me, this PDF is really important for you to know. Amazon Brand Analytics is a really important tool to have in today's time when selling on Amazon is so competitive. So make sure that you are brand registered and you're making the most out of it on the platform. It will also help you target new consumers and it will also improve your PPC campaigns in such a great way. So make sure to check out our other videos in the series where we talk about how you can build your Amazon storefront and where we talk about A plus content as well. If you haven't been brand registered yet or if you're pondering upon the decision if you want to be brand registered, check the video on the screen right now where we discuss if brand registry is important for you with Amy Wees and I will see you all there. So that is it for today everyone. Thank you so much for watching our video. We recently crossed 10,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel and I would like to thank you all for it. Thank you so much for being a part of Celera family. If you're new to this channel, do not forget to like this video and comment down below and let us know what you want to watch next. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and join our ever-growing Celera community and I will see you all there. Until the next time, happy selling.